bright green and with a distinctive high-pitched squawk. The ring-necked parakeet has become a common sight in many parts of Britain, but as numbers have grown, so too have some eyebrow-raising tales of how they first came to these shores. Many claim a flock escaped from the London film set of the 1950s Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn film, The African Queen. Others say it was in fact rock legend Jimi Hendrix who released two pet birds in Carnaby Street in the late 60s. And there's even a suggestion that the root cause is several that escaped during a burglary at George Michael's Hampstead home in the 1990s. To see if any of these tales have wings, a team of academics has been using police techniques to try to locate the original source. We would love to be able to say that Jimi Hendrix, he was the one that released the parakeets into London or into the UK, and it's just not the case. We found multiple sources. There's multiple bits of evidence that say there was a parakeet release here, or there's a source here, or there's a source here, all over the sort of southeast of England. It's most likely that these guys have escaped from ovaries, they've been released, or there was a bit of a panic over psittacosis and parrot flu that, that people have actually released them deliberately. Kensington Gardens here in the centre of London has become a known hotspot for parakeet sightings. Hundreds of people come here throughout the year trying to catch a glimpse of the new tropical residents in the uh, less than tropical climate. And when food's involved, they're not hard to find. The bird lovers here have all heard the stories before and quite like passing them on to intrigued tourists. Colour is so surprising and, and startling when you see it. That green is a green that you don't really see in, in kind of the palette of, of British birds or you know, even of trees and plants in this country. So I think people are often reaching for the more outlandish um, version of the story of where they came from. There had once been talk of a parakeet cull, but that's no longer on the table, partly because there's just so many of them. It seems these beautiful creatures are here to stay, even if their family story is slightly less colourful than many would have you believe. Kit Bradshaw, Sky News.